welcome to today's video now um, the first question here in the UNEB math says solve the quadratic equation p squared minus 7p plus 12 equal to 0 now in order to solve this question uh, this is p squared minus 7p plus 12 equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation you know there are several methods to solve this but we will be using factorization method now First of all, you need to call this the first term, this is the second term, and this is what? The third term. So we are going to look for um, our sum, which is equal to what? Our second term, which is what? Minus 7p. Now, we are going to look for the product, which is our first times our third term, which is going to give us 12p squared. Now, what number factor can you look for? When you add it, it's going to give you minus 7p. And when you multiply them, they will give you 12p squared. Now, I think I'll look for factors of 12, which are factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And I think 3 and 4 will go. So I take my 3p, 4p, and I'll put my negative sign. Now, notice, minus 3p minus 4p gives us minus 7p. And minus 3p multiplied by this will give us 12p squared. So here is going to be p squared minus, this will be 3p minus 4p plus 12 is equal to 0. So from here, p is common, so I'm going to put bring p out. That will be p minus 3 minus 4 is common here. I have what p um, here will still be minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, if you want to test it, you can open the bracket. Minus 4 times p will give you minus 4p. And minus 4 times minus 3 will give you plus 12. So here, you can see p minus 4, p minus 3 is common. So we are going to take care of 1. So p minus 3 is equal to 0. So from here, we have p minus 4 is equal to 0. That means p is equal to 0 plus 4, which is 4. And testing for the other condition, p minus 3 is equal to 0. That's p will be 0 plus 3. That's what? 3. So our p will be equal to 3 or 4. Final answer. So as easy as that, you can attempt that quadratic equation. Now question 2 says the length of a trousers in centimeters are 90, 115, 98, 103, 108, 105, 101, and 98. Find i, the modal height. Now the first thing you need to do to find the modal height now, you need to arrange the modal length, sorry. You need to arrange them in order of increasing. Um, you need to arrange them in order of increasing order. So, increasing order. Arrange them in order of increasing order. Now, this is going to be, I think we'll have um, 90 comes first. So, uh, that was 90 come. I'm going to cancel out my 90. The next one is um, 98 comes. There are 298, so I'll put 298. I'll cancel that. Okay, so the next one is uh, 101. So I have my 101. I'm going to cancel this out. The next one is uh, 103. I have my 103. I'm going to cancel 103 out. So I have, um, do we have 105? We have 108. And that's 105 and 108 then then the last one is um, 115 okay so with that now check which one has the highest occurring frequency which number occurred several times that's this so that means modal length will be 98 because it occurs twice it has a frequency of 2 Okay, so then the second question says we should find the median length. Now, median represents the middle. So, counting from here, we have um, 3 from this direction. Here, we have 3 from this direction. Now, this is the middle. Now, since two numbers are there, we take the average 101 plus 103, all divided by 2. Now, this is going to give us um, 204 divided by 2. Now, this is going to give us 102. So our median is 2.
Question 3 says, given tan theta is equal to minus 5 over 12 and 270 degrees less than theta, which is less than 360 degree, determine the value of cos theta. Now, the first thing you need to notice in this question is, uh, we've been told our theta falls in between this quadrant part of the circle. So, we are going to draw our circle. And this is our circle. So, I'm going to split my circle. This is 0 degree. This is uh, 90 this is um, 180 and this is what 270 and back to 360 degree now from here it shows that it falls in between 270 and 360 so i'm going to get put my diagram here so i will call here o i'll call here x and i'll call here um let me call here y okay so now this is my theta you recall that tan theta is the same thing as opposite over adjacent okay so now my opposite is a, i'll put here as minus five which is here while uh, my adjacent is a 12. so for us to find the value of cos theta uh we need to find here ox so ox is going to be equal to um that will be xy all squared plus O y all squared. So this will be O x um, all squared will be this would be um, x y is minus five all squared plus twelve squared. So O x all squared is going to give us this is twenty five plus one forty four. So this is going to give us when you sum this up you get one sixty nine. So O x will be square root of 169 and that will give us 13 so here my hypotenuse is 13 so cos theta it's going to be what cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse so this is going to give me cos theta that will be my adjacent remains uh, my 12 and my hypotenuse now is 13 final answer as easy as that you can solve this question so if you've not hit the subscribe button, don't forget to click subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can get more videos. Question 4 says, factorize completely the following expression. A says that. Now, in order to solve that, okay? So looking at this question, a plus 1 all square minus 3 into a plus 1. Now, from here, you can see a plus 1 occurred twice here and a plus 1 occurred once here. So, all you need to do is bring out a plus 1, then you have your brackets. So, this will be a plus 1. So, let's put this in brackets minus. This will now be 3. Close the brackets. Recall, you are bringing out the a plus 1. So, you have a plus 1 here and you have 3 left here. So, this is going to be the same thing as a plus 1 all into, this will be a plus 1 minus 3. So, this will be a plus 1 multiplied by, this is a, 1 minus 3 is going to give us minus 2. And so, this is going to be a minus 2, final answer. So, as easy as that, you can factorize that equation. Now, question B says 49 uh, factorizes so this is 49 minus x minus 4 all squared now recall that 49 is the same thing as what uh that will give us 7 square minus x minus 4 all squared now in order for us to be able to factorize this i'm going to bring in a concept we call uh difference of two squares now whenever you have a square minus b square is the same thing as a plus b bracket a minus b now when you put that into this equation let this is a this is the same thing as difference of two squares so i then a is seven and b is x minus four so this is going to be seven plus x minus four or multiplied by 7 minus x minus 4 okay so from here this is 7 minus 4 is going to give me okay let's just put the 7 plus x minus 4 
all into brackets. Now, when you open the brackets here, you're going to have 7 minus x plus 4. So 7 minus 4 is going to give me 3. So this is going to be um, 3 plus x. This will be 3 plus x all into. Now here you have 7 plus 4. You're going to get 11 minus x. So as easy as that, you can factorize the order equation.